If you use Microsoft Outlook or a similar email program, emailing your work as a Word document, PDF, or XPS is wicked easy in Office 2010. We'll begin by going backstage. I'll click the File tab. We always end up in the Info category when we go backstage. So this is a good reminder that if we're sending this document outside of our team or organization, it's a really good idea to inspect documents directly before you email them. But we're going to pay attention to Save and Send. Under Send Using Email, we have five choices. Send as Attachment, Send a Link, which we'll be talking about later in this chapter, Send as PDF, Send as XPS, and then finally, if you have an Internet Fax service, Send as Internet Fax. We'll deal with this one quickly. If you don't have an Internet Fax service, you're sent to Microsoft's business site so that you can sign up with a Fax service provider. Once you've done that, you can use Internet Fax. But we're going to email our document. First, if we choose Send as Attachment, Microsoft Word bundles up the document, puts it in an email message as an attachment, and all I need to do now is address this document, perhaps enter a little text about what I would like someone to do with this, and click Send to email this document to someone else. Now, when I send someone my entire document, they can edit it based on whatever permissions I have given them. If I haven't changed the permissions in this document, then they'll be able to edit in any way they'd like. There are times that I want someone to have a document and I want to be clear that it's read-only. I'm going to go backstage again to Save and Send, and I'm going to choose to send as a PDF document. Now, although I have Adobe Acrobat Professional installed on this computer, I don't need it to be able to use Send as PDF. I can create a PDF without ever having any product that creates PDFs because Word creates PDFs automatically. I'm going to click Send as PDF, and you'll notice Word has created a PDF or portable document format file and attached it to an email. When my recipient receives this email, they'll double click on the PDF. If they don't have a relatively recent version of Adobe Reader, they'll be prompted to go online and download one for free. But this is the document that they'll see, a document that they can review, that they can search, it has a find button, but that they cannot edit. They can't change the content and they can't change the formatting. So this might be the way that you would choose to send out a contract, a proposal, any document that you want to make sure someone doesn't go in and edit without your consent. As you noted, the PDF format requires your recipient to download Adobe Reader if they don't already have one. There's another format that they can use in any browser, and that's the XPS format. Let's go backstage again to Save and Send and choose Send as XPS. When I choose Send as XPS, Microsoft Word creates a document using this format, which does not require a separate reader. When your recipient gets this email and they double click and open, the document you sent will be opened in either a browser, such as Internet Explorer, or if they are running Windows 7, it will open in the Windows 7 XPS viewer. So, three easy ways to send a document to another user. If you need them to be able to edit the document, send it as an attachment. If, however, you simply want them to be able to view and print the document, send it either as a PDF or an XPS. With Word Backstage, you can easily email your Word documents in the format that will be most useful for your recipients.